we're here at Hayes High and I'm here with Principal Straub and we're here to talk about some of the uh, issues that the bond is going to address with the high school. Now, Principal Straub, 30% uh, of the bond is devoted to the improvements for the high school. The largest item is the construction of the new auditorium and the storm shelter. Can you tell us a little bit about why those are important and why they're on the bond issue? Well, well, two things. Uh, number one, instructionally, we really look forward to the time where our teachers and our coaches can actually teach kids about singing and acting and those things instead of how we're going to get kids down to practice to 12th Street Auditorium. We run uh, huge voltage uh, electrical wires across the walls. Uh, we drill a hole in the back of the auditorium so we have enough electricity to run the speakers, to run the lights. Um, so that's, that's one reason. Instructionally, we think educationally we can do better than we're doing now. Uh, secondly, the storm shelter, we feel like it can have a dual purpose, not just for the fine arts, but for the safety of your, your students and mine. Um, right now, our library is pretty much max, maxed out. Our library is not really a designated tornado shelter. We feel it's the safest place for all of our kids, but we are maxed out right now with 750 kids and approximately 100 staff members. Um, it's, it's quite an event. But the kids and the, and the teachers understand that it is important we are able to fit in there, but to, to date we're really maxed out in that place. And, and safety is our number one responsibility for your student and mine and everybody else in the community. So those two things we think we can do better. And safety is something that has come up with most of the schools. When you come to Hayes High currently you're able to walk you know, right in and um, Fortunately, most people go straight to the office, but that'll be addressed too with the, with the bond issue, correct? Yes, yes, ma'am. You know, I, I've been in a couple schools. I started at Cape and Mount Carmel in Wichita and Derby High School, and we actually moved into a new high school my second year at Derby High. And what struck me when I first came to Hayes was how isolated the administration was. At Derby High School, I had a corner office, and I had access to the front parking lot where, where all uh, students would come in and visitors. It was my responsibility to intervene if I ever needed to. I have really no way of knowing who is coming or isn't coming. We have cameras but obviously with our, our job as it is we don't really just sit and watch cameras. We would have a controlled entrance at the the front of the building. It would actually be between the commons area, the students commons area which sits outside of the auditorium and in between that and the, if, the, if the bond issue passes the competition gym, we would be the furthest uh, jet out of the building, the new, the new addition, and it would allow us to intervene if and when necessary. The other thing that goes along with that isn't necessarily just the structure, but the doors themselves. Right now, we do try to keep only three of our 20 plus doors and entrances into our building locked during the day. But if a student goes out and they put something in to keep it open, there's nothing that tells us a door is ajar. Mm -hmm. The new system would allow us to know exactly what time, who went out that door, and if it's open or closed yet. So we think that it's our responsibility to keep our kids as safe as possible, and we can do that through secure entrances. Absolutely. Now another area that, that is budgeted is a new gym and a new student commons area. And we were, we were touring the gym earlier and it's beautiful, but it's just not big enough. Is that right? Well, we've, we've really invested some. We, we need to do what we can. It's our responsibility to, when you as a parent, and I know you said you have an eighth grader and an incoming freshman, it's our responsibility to make this building as nice as it is, and, or as we can. And we, we can cover a lot of things with paint and we can cover a lot of things with new finishes and new signs and we, we're very proud of our building. Nonetheless, we can only seat about 1,300 people in our gym. Our ability to, to, to host sub-state and regional competitions is going by the wayside. Being a 4A school, a large 4A school now, the state is constantly asking us to host events and it's not real exciting when they only hear we can seat 1,350 some people in our gym. We did add some new bleachers to our, to our gym about three or four years ago. We have handicap accessible seating now. We have banisters where people can secure themselves as they walk up and down the bleachers. Those were good improvements, but mm -hmm. it did take away from some of the seating. When we have our wrestling tournament, we will run three mats in, in our competition gym. Um, I know that Next Tech has, has even done some of our tournaments and they can attest to the fact that our wrestling mats literally have to go up the walls about 20 inches on both sides. When a referee is refereeing a match, instead of being in the proper position, many times they have to stand against the wall acting as another buffer. We really feel it's a safety issue for our kids and certainly a community need. 
We see our gym used almost every night of the week, almost every month out of the year. It's a good thing. It's a good thing we open up our community, uh, our gym to the community, uh, but it nonetheless is a real, real, real tight fit for everyone. And also, in addition to, to the, uh, the gym and the auditorium, there's going to be some new tech classrooms. Tell us what kind of opportunities that will bring that we don't have now. Decades ago, when I was a student in high school, the goal obviously was to graduate. Today, there are so, so very many more opportunities for us to do career counseling with students to prepare them for their future. Not all students should or do go to college. We have to prepare those students for a, a hands-on technical life as well. That doesn't mean many of our, our technical classes aren't up or in. They're very, very challenging very strong students at Hayes High School enroll in these classes and end up being very successful engineers. But I will also say that it does give more hands-on opportunity for students to really get into inquiry-based learning, constructivist approach to learning, and really develop all of their academic skills through product development. And we're really looking forward to that. Now, Principal Straub, about $7 million of it is needed for uh, maintenance for the school. And you took me on a tour and showed me some areas that, while you've done a very good job of maintaining them, the equipment is, is just, frankly, it's old. No different than if your house had a 40-year-old air conditioner, right? Well, I'm sure our AC and, and heater are far older than you are. <laughs> and, and, I, and I would guess that in any home that a 40-year-old air conditioner or heater, we've probably got our money's worth. We have mm -hmm. kept good care. They still are operating. Um, I, I joked with you earlier, if you would come out here in three weeks, you would find many of our ceiling tile missing because of the, um, the difficult problem with air conditioner and, and drainage in this building. We've had to replace full uh, plumbing systems behind some of the walls in our bathrooms. Our concrete underneath many of our tiles is crumbling. Um, the rust has built up uh, so badly on many of our exterior entrances and windows that um, when, when it rains, it rains not only outside, but it rains inside as well. We have to uh, many times put duct tape on some of the windows when we have blizzards because mm -hmm. we literally will have snow in some of our entrances. Not complaining, but that's the truth. And, and our, our infrastructure is in, in need of updating. It would be very nice to be able to go from air conditioning and heating uh, at a moment's notice because you know in Kansas we experience that kind of weather. Mm -hmm. Right now we're in the heating season still, even though uh, some of our rooms got up to 90 degrees last, uh, just last week. Um, again, not complaining. We live with it. We run a lot of fans, but certainly we think we can do better. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to tell us just a little bit about what exciting things can be happening at A's High. We didn't get a chance to go to all the schools today, but the information is all out there, and we encourage you to go out there and educate yourself. Certainly, you're welcome to talk to any of the people that we talked to today, and um, we just ask that you uh, consider the issue, and thank you for telling us some reasons why uh, it'd be good to vote yes. Thank you very much.